Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to my channel. Uh, I haven't done one of these like, uh, you know, traditional unboxings for a while, but uh, I ordered kind of like on a, like, on a whim completely. Um, it was on my radar, but like I wasn't planning on ordering any, but then I just kind of, I just had to because I saw the opportunity. Uh, so this is uh, the newest cards from Fontaine. So if you don't know Fontaine cards, uh, especially in the world of cardistry, so if that's not kind of like the world you're in as far as skill toys, if you're watching this and you're like, I like yo-yos, so that's why I watch your channel, or I like Begler or something like that. I have done a few uh, videos on uh, cardistry a little bit. I, I, I kind of dabble in it. I would like to spend more time with it, but it's one of those things that just, even if I am not really into cardistry, like just collecting cards is just kind of a lot of fun. And so this is like a mystery, like, you know, kind of blind bag sort of thing that they were doing. Um, and I'll talk more about that as I open the main package up here. I'll have a link in the description to uh, Fontaine's like Instagram and all that. It would be worth your while to check out like sort of the promo video that went into this. Every time they have a launch of something particular, you know, for like a, a new run of cards or whatever, like their art, they are artists, right? And it's just like, it's really just cool. The whole branding aspect of it, I mean, I can see why they are so popular, right? They obviously are really good at promoting uh, and all that and, and they're, you know, and they just have some of the best cardists uh, in the world that really support them. But I tell you what, this, this one was particularly cool. So do yourself a favor and check out some of the animation I think it was claymation that went into that and you can even see like the storefront i believe they have uh, a brick and mortar place out in la um so all right so here's the blind bag and i'll show you the back here just kind of see all the options here so we have uh we can do common uncommon rare and then there are two secret i'm sorry ultra rare as well there's one ultra rare uh and then there's two secret variants so okay so here, take a good look at that so here's our options here okay all right let's go ahead is there, a, is there a seal or do I have to cut it open? I might just have to like actually cut it. So be very careful not to cut into the cards there. All right, I'll just make a little slit here on the back here. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, okay. All right, so it looks like we're in a common. So this is, uh, what are they calling it? Coral, all right, so there's the, there's the coral. So I just ordered one, you can order, I believe actually I saw today, because I, I am subscribed to their newsletter uh, of you can buy a, a brick as well. How many come in a brick? I can't remember, but you can check that out as well. Obviously, your odds would be greater to get more rares and so on in a brick, but that's a really cool. I have a couple of Fontaine decks now, uh, and this one certainly looks different enough. And I like I like that purple a lot. You know, it is what it is. I I like the common. I like all the ones they have for common. It would have been nice to get. Man, I really like that ultra rare, that grid, but man, the odds were not in my favor with that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this really quick. We'll keep it brief. Um, it's not gonna be a really a review since I won't really have a, a true handle on these cards, but uh, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. We'll keep the, uh, the plastic on the bottom half there and see what the actual cards look like. Maybe I'll show you some of the uh, court cards as well. Uh, here's the Ace of Spades. So this is pretty common with theirs. Um, you know, uh, it has sort of the, you know, the branding of the back there, the same color. Uh, so that's nice, the coral, that's what they're called. So let's take a look there's, if there's any unique court cards. It doesn't really look like there's any super unique court cards, but pretty standard decks. These are the Jokers. So um, they're not identical Jokers. You have one here. It's got like this little wizard. Um, and then like this one's like a, what do you call this? Not a centaur. What do you call that? Uh, from... Uh, um narnia chronicles of narnia oh my goodness tumness you know what's this ah shoot uh well doesn't matter um anyways but they handle a lot like uh what i've what i've played with before um yeah really nice uh i don't know honestly a full not like super versed to be honest in everything cardistry um but uh these are nice decks and if you've not owned a, a fontaine deck and you're interested at all in cardistry or just collecting decks fontaine should be on your on your high up on your list of to go get cards because that, if that phrase even made any sense <laughs> so uh there you go that's my i just thought it'd be fun to open that up on camera for y'all and uh so there you go i got a common this is it's out of 3,500 of these, right? So there's 2,500 of the uncommon, 1,500 of the rare, and only 750 of the ultra rare, and then 500 and 200 of the variants. So this is the most common, but uh, it's a nice deck, and I like, like that purple a lot. So, all right, that's gonna do it for now, and until the next one, later. Mm -hmm.